So, Tanner's crusted port, and I'm just going to show you what we do with crusted port because it's a wine that needs to be decanted. It's a port that needs to be decanted. If you're holding a bottle of Tanner's late bottle vintage, then you don't need to decant it. It's already been cleaned, in effect, by spending four years, maybe five years in barrel. Uh, and it's filtered when it comes out. This is slightly different. It's in effect a young vintage port. It's spent 18 months in barrel, having been trod in the old Lagars, uh, fortified to 20% alcohol. And it's got a lovely, rich, juicy, buried sort of flavor to it. Um, but because it hasn't been filtered, it needs to be decanted. If we decant this wine, um, what in effect we're doing is removing the clean part of the wine on top and leaving any residues that might already have been formed as deposits in the bottom of the bottle. Decanting is terribly straightforward. Uh, you watch the wine as it goes into the bottle, but I can see it running down the neck and I can see at the moment it's perfectly clear. In the old days you probably would have used a lantern or, or even a candle to do this, but I don't need to at the moment. I can see it's still coming through particularly clear. And now we're just starting to see a little bit of sediment and I'm going to stop it there. So I've got a clean wine in the decanter and a little bit left in here, probably about half an inch. That goes into the gravy. I'll leave that over there. So Tanner's Crusted Port, a blend of two vintages, at the moment 2004 and 2005. And I sometimes think it's too good to just be drunk after dinner with the cheese. It works very well with Stilton. It's 17.90 a bottle, which for a fortified wine of this, this type is exceptional value. It's got a lovely, rich, um, almost bakey nose to it. Unlike your late bottle vintages, your LBVs, these bottle ports have got a little bit more depth of flavour, lovely sweetness to them, but they again tend to have a, a richness of flavour that goes all the way through on the finish and then a clean, a clean finish too in the mouth. This is a delicious way to finish the meal or you could drink it in the afternoon with a, a slice of Christmas cake. Uh, it's, a, it's too good a wine just to be relegated to the end of the meal. Of course, if you don't finish it, just put the top back on the decanter and it'll keep nicely for another three days. You can enjoy it on Boxing Day. Or if you don't finish it and you want to keep it a little bit longer than that, simply rinse out the bottle um, and then pour what's left in your decanter back into the bottle. Pop the top on into the fridge and you'll keep it for another three weeks.